Hey guys, welcome Chew on Food. My name is Will Chew. Thank you for again for this beautiful session on wine. This goes out to you, Jen, all right? Because you requested Riesling and now I'm doing a comparison on three Rieslings. All coming from different areas. Well, except for two. First up, it's gonna be the Hans Schiller, uh, P.S. Porter, Michaelsburg, Allsleys from Germany, okay? Uh, 2009. And then, the Jean Albrecht Riesling Reserve from Alsace, France. So this is a French. Also 2009. And then we have the Adolf Müller, um, Berich Bernkastel Riesling 2009 also from, you guessed it, Germany. So Riesling is big in Germany. They grow in cold climates. Uh, they're almost the same color as Pinot Grigio. They're not as deep as some Chardonnays or most Chardonnays are. They also tend to be on the sweet side. So that gives me a, a chance to taste some sweetness here and get my sugar up. But one thing also, um, just to let you know, I'm not a big Riesling drinker. I don't, I don't sip on Riesling that much. I, I prefer red, but not that I'm hating on whites. So first we're gonna try which one? Adolf Müller. Let me chill these here, because they need to be nice and cold all the time, all right? And this one too. So let's try the Adolf Müller. Wow, right away, it's very light, straw-colored um, body to it. Rinse this here. Alright, so, very straw-colored. And it's, it has been, uh, it has been chilling for 30 minutes in the fridge. It has a very sweet nose to it, um, Asian pear I'm getting, a little bit of uh, minerality going on, honey, like I smell like a little hint of honey in here, let's see how it tastes, mm. Mm. wow, explode, like, Honey explosion going on in my mouth. It's um, very pleasant drinking. You do not taste any of the tannins, no acidity. It's almost like drinking Moscato. Definitely apple flavor here with honey. Think that. Apple and honey. Nice. Next up, it is the. No, let's save that for last. The Riesling is Jean Elbrick from uh, Alsace, okay, big region where they produce whites of this kind. Uh, France. Let's give it a little rinse here, my goodness. And so we go. Oh, you see that color here? It's like a deeper, deeper, kind of goldish color. Look at the look at the body here. See that? More color to it, almost a uh, a light gold. You gotta smell this one. It smells like fine honey mixed with a little bit of rose petals. Perfumey. Hint of spice, touch of wood. Mm, that's how I would describe it. This one is of the drier side, medium to a little short finish. You taste the minerality there? Yeah. You taste it? It's dry. You taste a lot of the alcohol in this one. So if you like Pinot Grigio on the dry side, Chardonnay on the dry side, you'll enjoy this one. The nose is superb. I like the nose a lot. What do you think? It smells nice, right? But when you taste it, it's a different story. 
go for the PS Porter, Michaelsburg, Uch Lee, Hans Schiller. Okay, 2009. From Germany. The color is again of the first one. Light straw. A lot of choices when you go out to shop recently, it's a lot of choices out there. You want to know what's the difference on each one. Hmm, there it goes again. Lychee. Lychee. You ever had lychee? It's this Asian fruit. Uh, they package it in this little container that has a liquid surrounding it. You peel the top off and you suck this lychee in your mouth and it's it smells just like it. A hint of honey again. Not a lot of apple. Let's give it a taste. Light honey, not as sweet as the Mueller. Pleasant finish, uh, more of an elegance to it. Uh, definitely sweet though, on the sweet side. All right guys, so we ended our tasting on Rieslings. All right, now it's time to score them. The Jean Albrecht, I'm gonna have to give it a nice 82 points. 82 points for the Jean Albrecht. Uh, again, dry white Riesling, okay, if you're a big fan of dry wines. The Adolf Mueller, I'm going to give it a solid 84 points uh, because it is sweet, um, it is. It has a nice color to it, nice straw, uh, amber color, and uh, I enjoyed it. And for the price range, you can't go wrong. And then for the Hans Schiller, I'm going to have to give it a solid 87 points here 87 is for the Hans Schiller I think you ladies would enjoy this very much because it's not only uh, pleasant on the mouth or the nose but it's just the flavor the complexity it just makes you think of many things it could go with I mean it's just I think it's a very well-rounded white reason and I would choose this uh, for, for any of you who enjoy these things and there you have it Thank you for joining me on Chew on Food and Wine Tasting Riesling. Jen, I hope you enjoyed this and learned. You gotta try these wines. This one here, I think you will love it. So next time, we're gonna go uh, and try something else. Tell me what you want. Request a wine, request a type of grape, and I'll review it for you here in front of you. And uh, I'll tell you my opinion. So this is Will Chew. Thank you for joining me on Chew on Food. And I'll see you next time.